Welcome back to Autism Live. I love this part of the show where we welcome an autism expert to answer your questions. Today, we have the fabulous Jessie Plug, and she is here with us. Jessie, welcome to the show. Hi, I'm glad to be here. We're thrilled to have you on. And, and tell us uh, what your title is at CARD and which office you work out of and what you do. Okay, um, I am a clinical manager um, at CARD. I work in Auburn, California. We have a beautiful little office up here in the foothills of the Sierras. Um, I am overseeing our BCBAs here, working with clients, working with our staff as they try to grow towards um, becoming BCBAs themselves. Um, it's just a, it's a really great job. I've been doing this for 18 years. Wow. Um, I know. And I was drug into this from my own child who has autism who's now 24. Wow. Well, that's a pretty amazing story. And I'm so grateful that someone like you, because you must be informed about so many things that help not only the BCBAs, but the families. What a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, I'm excited that you're here with us today, and I'm going to start throwing questions at you. So, the first one, our high schooler has many short friendships that fizz. He tries so very hard. It's tough to ask about this portion of his school day, but without info, we don't know what to work on or what we need to work on. Do you have any ideas? The young man is amazing. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, so, I think... Um they definitely, without knowing what's going on, nobody knows how to treat the, the, the problem, right? And that's often a really difficult thing when you have a, a child who, or a young adult who is going to school and they don't have support and they're not telling you what's happening and you don't know what's happening. It's very difficult to know where to start. Um, and so the best advice I can give is that you have to try to figure out what is happening um, with his social um, relationships and with his peers. Um, one of the places they could start is um, talking to teaching staff for some insight. Um, but I'd also ask the school, I'm not sure if this young man has a IEP or not, but um, if he has a diagnosis of autism, I would ask the school to assess the problem. Um, part of, it's really important, I think, whether your child needs a lot of supports or very little supports to understand what their rights are um, as far as the IEP process and special education. Um, a lot of people think special education is only for academics, um, but if he's having difficulties with social skills, you could ask for an assessment um, and then hold a meeting with the school district to see what they've come up with. Um, but somebody has to get in there and and be able to see it. If he has an ABA company that's working with him, then they could also possibly go to do some observations at the school or even outside of the school with peers. Um, but you need to be able to see what's happening and, and where things might be going wrong so that you can help him. Um, without knowing, I can't really give advice on what they should do other than trying to find out what's happening so Absolutely. they can set up an intervention. Absolutely. I think a lot of times as parents, we were like, well, what do we do? And, and what I love is when the experts say to us, well, we have to look at it first. And the comparison that I always have for families is, you know, can you imagine if you, if your car, something was going on with your car, let's say you had a little shimmy and you're like, I don't know what that is, but fix it, right? You want the expert to fix it. If you were to drive your car to a garage and say to somebody, there's a shimmy, I want you to fix it. And if the expert said, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, this, and this off and we're going to replace those you'd be like whoa aren't you going to take it for a test drive and see what it is first so that you can diagnose what's happening before you start working on it it's the same thing with our kids so somebody's got to get yeah. in there and look at it wonderful hey thanks for watching autism live to subscribe click here and if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.